Welcome back, everyone. Today we are diving into our KETK archives. While we continue to deal with the scorching summer temperatures, our experience isn't really anything new. Yeah, we're headed back 20 years ago to the year 2003 when East Texans were doing what we're doing right now, handling the July summer heat. The mercury may be rising, but Scott Roycroft's grass still needs cutting. Scott wanted to wait till things cooled off a bit, but the heat wave seems locked in place. I'm sweating, man. I'm looking real good right now, but I'm almost done, so I can see the end is near. No, no, no. <laughs> no taking it easy in the blazing temps for these Tyler Fitness diehards. Jason Kennedy's training for baseball season with his mom cracking a very hot whip. It's too hot, but you still got to do it, so. That's what we're doing. My mom, she's, she's the slave driver. She pushes us. So. But while Jason and his slave driving coach are keeping plenty of water around, Jason's girlfriend sits a few feet away with a different approach to beating the heat. So we want to know what would it take to coax you out of the car air conditioning right now? Oh, it would have to take a lot. <laughs> Some sanding in the sun for this local carpenter. A construction deadline is keeping Bill Schlau out in the 90 plus heat. But under all the power tool noise, you'll hear no complaints. So the heat doesn't bother you? Well, it bothers me, but I don't have no choice. <laughs> So it's a Sunday in East Texas with the stress on sun. Right now, humor may be the only cure to this heat wave. Anything you can recommend? Just get inside. <laughs> Hire somebody to do your yard. <laughs> and that was our former reporter, Joel Brown, with that story from 2003. Yeah, some things never change, including... Nope. July and August. Sorry, that's coming up to mm -hmm. scorching heat here in East Texas. Yeah, it could be three degrees cooler and everybody would still comply. I mean, obviously, but we all know that it could just be so much worse. So let's just be thankful yes. that we're yes. not dealing with what we dealt with, for example, in, in 2011. Now that mm -hmm. was that was horrific. Yes, 1980, 2011, yeah. 2022, last yeah, year. Yeah, last that year was, was pretty bad. Yes, yes. So, so count your blessings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, we are starting to feel the effects of yeah. this. Uh, mm -hmm. Drought monitor came out this